Magandang gabi po, Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. Kung hanggang kahapon nagmamatiga si Governor Gwen Garcia laban sa pulisiya ng IATF, ngayong araw nagbago na siya ng tono. Bagamat itutuloy pa rin daw ang patakaran nilang swab upon arrival, susundin na raw daw ng Cebu ang pag-swab ng mga umuwing Pinoy abroad sa ikapitong araw nila sa bansa at ang sampung araw na quarantine sa isolation facility. Bilang pagdalang daw yan sa kagustuhan ni Pangulong Duterte na kagabi, ay nagsabing hindi pwedeng makalusot ang lalawigan ng Cebu sa mga patakaran ng IAGF. Nakatutok si Joseph Morong. Hindi exempted ang Cebu province sa patakaran ng IATF o Interagency Task Force for the management of emerging infectious diseases na hanggang sampung araw dapat i-quarantine ang umuwing Pilipino sa Pilipinas. At sa ikapetong araw siya isa-swab test. Yan ang sabi ni Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte sa kanyang Talk to the Nation address kagabi. Sa Cebu province kasi pagdating swab na agad at pag negative papayagan siyang umuwi para ituloy ang quarantine sa bahay. Uh, I see the, the, the wisdom In her view, but I said the overwhelming notion among us in government and the medical doctors uh, simply do not agree with her. So you, uh, I leave the fate of uh, uh, Governor uh, Garcia as uh, the IDLG. Uh, there are some mechanics that, that can be put into action to, to well, compel uh, obedience. Not because you want to be uh, mas marunong, but uh, remember I said that uh, all our decisions are based on what the medical people say. Hindi rin daw uubra na mas masusunod ang lokal na ordinance kesa sa pulisiya ng national government. I cannot uh, uh, make an exception doon para sa Cebu. Uh, kung sabihin talaga nila ng uh, uh, ang task force that uh, you have to go into a quarantine for 10 days, uh, hanggang hindi, nag, hindi nagbago yan, wala tayong magawa. Bago ang pahayag ng Pangulo kagabi na hindi gan pa kahapon, si Governor Garcia sa kanilang patakaran. I have only the deepest respect for President Rodrigo Roa Duterte and the office that he represents. I also have the deepest respect for the rule of law. Iginigate kasi ni Garcia ang sariling provincial ordinance ng Cebu tungkol sa ipatutupad ng mga health protocols sa probinsya. Iginigate din ni Garcia na sa ilalim ng local government code hanggang anim na buwan lamang maaring manduhan ng Secretary of Health ang health protocols ng isang local government unit. Ang hindi raw susunod dito, maaring makasuhan ng kidnapping o serious illegal detention. In Cebu, there is an existing ordinance which clearly spells out the swab on arrival protocol and if found negative within two or three days may go home to continue their quarantine at home. Holding them beyond the two or three day period could expose them to possible charges of kidnapping and serious illegal detention as well as resistance and obedience, disobedience to a person in authority. Pero ngayong araw, nagbago na ang tono ng gobernadora. This executive order I am now setting aside in deference to the president even as we look forward to the scheduled meeting on the 28th of June with Secretary Duque and the same technical experts who had advised the President last night. Sabi ni Garcia, magiging sampung araw na rin ang quarantine ng mga returning Filipinos na lalapag sa Cebu, alinsunod sa IATF protocol. Tuloy pa rin daw ang swab upon arrival pero magsasagawa ulit ng swab pagsapit ng ikapitong araw tulad ng ginagawa ng IATF. Sasagutin naman daw ng national government ang gastusin sa hotel ng mga returning Filipinos. We shall continue with the swab upon arrival policy because we have found that doing this gives us better control at those that arrive 
already testing positive. This shall continue at no cost to the arriving OFWs and ROFs. Even as of course the seventh day swab will again be ministered to these arriving Filipinos on the seventh day. Joseph Morong nakatutok 24 oras.